The next question. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I'm a student from Baku, Azerbaijan. My name is Muhammad. My parents force me to do something that is haram, such as listening to music and watching TV. What should I do? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the glorious Quran, Surah Al-Luqman, chapter number 31, verse 14, and we have enjoined upon man to be kind to his parents. And if the parents, they do jihad, strive and struggle to make you worship others besides Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then do not obey them. So we should be kind to our parents. We should respect our parents. We should love our parents. But all of this should be as long as our parents do not command us to do anything against the glorious Quran or against the authentic teachings of our beloved Prophet Muhammad. May peace and blessings be upon him. For a believer, the most important is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his messenger. So if the parents tell us to do something that is contrary to the teachings of the glorious Quran and authentic hadith of our beloved Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, as far as this aspect is concerned, we should not listen to them. But we should yet be kind to them. We should yet be generous to them. Just because our parents are telling us to do something that is haram, for example, listening to music or any other thing that is haram, we, that, that does not give us the liberty to disrespect them, to be ungrateful to them, to raise our voice and argue with them. Even though they are telling us to do something that is haram, we should yet respect them, we should yet love them. In fact, disrespecting our parents, it is not only a sin, but it is a major sin. So if our parents are telling us to do something that is haram, we should sit and discuss with them. Explain to them that what they are requesting us or what they are commanding us to do, it is haram, it is prohibited. Give them evidence from the glorious Quran and authentic hadith of our beloved Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. And inshallah, they will not tell you to do something that is haram. And there is a famous saying in the Arabic language. لا طاعة لمخلوق في معصية الخالق That there is no obedience to the creation when there is disobedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So in order to obey our parents, we cannot disobey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We cannot commit shirk that is associated partners with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If our parents command us to do shirk, we cannot obey them. If our parents tell us not to offer salah five times a day, we cannot obey them. If our parents tell us not to fast in the month of Ramadan, we cannot obey them. So if our parents tell us to do anything which is compulsory in Islam, if our parents tell us not to do anything which is compulsory in Islam, then we should not obey them. If our parents tell us to do something that is haram, we should not obey them as far as this haram thing is concerned. But besides this, if our parents tell us to do something that is mubah, we should go out of the way to obey them. For example, if our parents tell us to wear black clothes or to wear blue clothes and we do not like the color blue or the color black, we should go out of the way in order to obey our parents even though we do not like it. And we will receive immense reward from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So as far as things, as far as the things that are mubah are concerned, if our parents are telling us to do something that is mubah, even if we do not like it, we should yet obey our parents. And I would urge the rewards of Islam, those people who have reverted and have entered into the fold of Islam and their parents are yet non-Muslim, to convey the message of Islam to the non-Muslim parents and to be more kind, more generous, more loving, more respectful to their parents. Their parents should think that what has happened to my child? What has happened to my son? What has happened to my daughter after he has embraced Islam? After she has embraced Islam, my son is more good to me. My son is more kind to me. My son is more respectful to me. This will draw them closer towards the religion of Islam. So I hope that answers your question. And as far as television is concerned, the latter part of your question which you mentioned, television per se, it is not haram. There are things that are bad and at the same time we can use it for the good. I do agree that majority of the things that come on television, on TV, they are haram. But we can use the same television in order to convey the message of Islam. And that's the reason we have the four satellite channels, Peace TV English, Peace TV Urdu, Peace TV Bangla and Peace TV Chinese. The media, it is a very important weapon in the world. 
It can convert black into white, day into night, hero into villain, villain into hero. The media, it is very powerful. We Muslims, we need to use the media to convey the message of Islam to the non-Muslims, to those who are unaware of it. So when we are watching something on the television, we should watch only channels which are Islamic. Unfortunately, we have very few Sharia compliant channels. Certain channels, they claim to be Islamic, but unfortunately, they have music. They have women appearing who are not dressed in hijab. All of these go against the teachings of Islam. So if we are watching television, we should watch only those channels which are halal and which do not break any rules of the Sharia. So I hope that answers your question.